Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche. And uh, since the Wings of Change tribe ended, or actually as it was ending, I asked you guys if you wanted to see me do another tribe and uh, what you guys might want to see that tribe be about. And you guys said you wanted to see a water tribe, which is something we haven't really done before. And so we are going to be doing a story-based water tribe, and I figured this mountain would be a great place to start it because not only do we happen to have an ice block right here, but we also have this huge wide open ocean ahead of us. So we've got a lot of ocean we can explore and a lot of places we could set up for our creatures. So this is our starting pair. We have Kosi and we have Tavon Kier. And uh, it, this is going to be a story-based series. Uh, but one of the reasons that I liked this particular pair as well, this was just the one that generated. I'm super happy because Devon Kier actually has the Cracker Jaw in both slots, which is really nice. Kosi does not have it, but uh, the Cracker Jaw will enable our tribe to already end up very close to the sea because we can have him come right over here. Or actually, let's have Kosi first of all breed with him and we can have him step right over here and actually pick up these shells to get some food. Now, what I think we'll do for this time is we'll have Kosi gather right here and then we'll start a new day and we'll make sure we get that leech and take that leech out. There we go. And then we'll have you step over here. There's actually another leech creeping up on him that we can take out. And Kosi can kind of step this way. Now, I'm not going to have them crack open this ice block right away. We want to make sure we have a good source of food before we do that. But uh, I think they would want to make sure they can nest first and kind of set up their own family before welcoming anyone else into it. Um, I'm also going to be taking name suggestions for this series too, and I'll kind of just keep a combined list of ones you've submitted both for this and for our Rise of Heroes tribe. So any name you submit to either series could go into either series. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll start a new day again. We also have the digger paws for Tavon Kier here, but I don't know that we want to keep that. We probably would prefer to have the platypus beak when we unlock that. And so if, assuming, I think the, the water roots still spawn here, but um, we'll see. So I think what we probably prefer to have would at first be probably just the normal well, either normal or maybe nimble fingers. We'll see. Um, but I think I'll put in the normal leg for now because it'll be easier to do that than it will be to unlock the nimble fingers because we have to do a lot more collecting to do that. And we don't have that unlocked. And I don't think we'll probably end up doing that to Volunteer's lifetime. So he also has good eyesight. He's got secondary ram horns. He does have this swimming tail buried in here. So we might be able to, to pull that out of his and Kosi's traits right away. Um, and for Kosi herself, let's actually go ahead and we'll put in normal eyesight. And again, we'll put in that runner leg. I think I'll just put the runner leg in both slots here for Tavon here. Because that'll hopefully, hopefully give us creatures that can both move and gather easily. The, this tribe won't be able to take to the water right off the bat. And there is a crabbit here as well, which is good news for us. So let's see if they can move a little bit inland. We don't want to go too far inland, but we do want to make sure we get set up pretty quickly here. And we have little, who is this? Marame. Well, well, generally we go a few generations before we start using names. So we'll let uh, the first generation or two keep their original names. But as our tribe branches out and becomes a little more diverse, we'll start using the names you guys have submitted. Now, let's see. Oh, hello! We have another creature here. <laughs> uh, let's actually have Tavon Kier step over here, and we'll see another Cracker Jaw whose name is Kuro. He has terrible eyesight, but he has this bird beak and a Cracker Jaw. His fertility is not great, but he also has the swimming tail. Let's actually invite him into the tribe because he has nimble fingers and so he can be a very good gatherer right off the bat. Now if we're ever going to breed with him we want to make sure we get that better eyesight in his mutation menu so we'll put that there because maybe we'd end up breeding him say with uh, if we look over here with Marame perhaps they actually would be genetically compatible. Uh, Marame though doesn't have that swimming tail and so I'm not as sure if we'd want to breed them here. Let's actually have a Kosi step up here and we can breed them. There's also a clown koi lurking around in this river and we may try and use the rivers for swimming practice but we'll have to see. Let's go ahead and start a new day. 
and we can actually have Murami step over here and sit by Kuro. Uh, let's have you gather here and then Kosi can hop right back down here and actually dig. Let's also gather some of that uh, that nesting material or the, the grass there and clear it away and Tavon here can step up there. We actually do have the chance to gather nesting material up there so that might be good to keep in mind. Um, and we can gather up some of this grass as well. I don't expect you'll be attacked right away and a lot of the predators here are either weak or slow. So that's a good thing. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll start a new day again. And we have Vanu, who does have the secondary swimming tail, but of course he's a male, so he couldn't breed with Kuro either uh, or continue on that line, unfortunately. Let's bring Murame down here and we'll have you can step up here and breed again and we'll gather up some of this grass and then is there anywhere you could gather a root perhaps not so we'll have you step down here maybe and we'll see if we can continue on so Vanu will might be a good gatherer as well and we'll have to just see how all this works out and I heard another crabbit wash up here let's bring Vanu down this way and we'll put Kosi right here and in fact I think Kosi can pretty much handle herself so maybe we'll bring Kuro this way. He can't catch the clown koi, but he can step up here. And Marame can step up this way. Oh, and there's bunnies over there as well. Uh, but he can, or she can step that way and start gathering extra nesting material because we will need that soon too. Now there is a leech here, so we want to be kind of cautious of that. But I think we'll stay here for the time being. Let's maybe have you gather here. There's actually a clown koi right there. I don't think that leech is going to get here this turn, though, so we'll go ahead and pass the day again. Oh, did I have her destroy- I had her destroy the nest. That wasn't what I meant to do. Let's have her nest again. You can quickly snatch up this leech, and she can continue to gather from there, while Marame can gather from right here. Now, I don't know. We should be able to have the, uh, the creatures in our, our tribe here. We should be able to have winged creatures spawn, too. But I don't know if we'll actually end up doing anything with them because that's not really what we're going for. Oh, there is a permanent nest over here as well, so that could be worth uh, worth looking into. Oh, and I should have had him gather that coconut. I didn't even see that. Um, let's go ahead, though, and we'll start a new day again. The beginning tends to go pretty fast. And we have... Ooh, okay. So Anamiko actually has the swimming tail, which is excellent news for a tribe that means to take to the water. Uh, now, she'll probably end up being one of our first creatures to actually go swimming. And she has B and C, which means we could breed her with Kuro. Now, she does have the secondary cracker job, which is really great as well. Um, let's have Vanu maybe start moving this way. Oh, he just missed that bunny, unfortunately. Uh, let's have you step back up here. You can actually come over here and we'll breed them. And then you can step up here and gather. Oh, that bunny is stealing from something. Let's have you step all the way over here. And that does count as swimming, I think, so that's a good start. You can try and attack this Dodo Mingo and just see if it will, um, see if we can kill it and get a little extra food. But, uh, we'll have to see. Let's see here as well. Okay, I don't hear anything dangerous just yet, but our food is dropping rapidly. So, and I, I heard a sneeze, actually. Who, who sneezed? I didn't, I don't know who sneezed. Let's have you step down here, because then you'll be able to gather two of these coconuts. And Kuro, of course, will be our other breeding creature, so let's mark them with blue to start off with, because blue is the color of the ocean. And we'll keep Anamiko here. Now, he has terrible eyesight, but for the most part has pretty good genes other than that. So I think we'll actually have Anamiko step down here. We'll have Kosi destroy her nest and then come this way. Well, Tavonkir can sit over here, attack this crabbit a couple of times, maybe, or we'll actually have him step up here. Who are you? Rariella, oh, you're the one we heard sneeze. She actually does have the swimming tail, but she has the same, oh, she actually doesn't. She has, huh. She might be worth breeding into the family too, possibly, when we have a little more food because right now would not be a good time to accept someone new into the tribe. Uh, that would be kind of a disaster, honestly. Um, but maybe, maybe Marame could catch one of these, um, these bunnies at some point. For now, though, we're all out of moves, so let's start a new day. 
And there's two birds. Oh my goodness. And somebody has a leech. Uh, that's not so good. I'm gonna guess it's probably, yep, it's Crow. Uh, let's have you gather here. Did this bunny get stunned? It may have. Um, and let's have Vaughn you gather and then come over here to remove that leech. And we'll have you step over here and gather up that, uh, gather up the shell right there. Let's also bring Anamiko across the water and she can come sit right here. We actually could dig there too, so maybe we'll have Kosi make the migration over this way. Oh yeah! And, um, or maybe we should leave her this way in case the crab it wants to follow. Now, we do have Rariella here, so I think what we'll do is we'll actually let her join the tribe. Despite her being sick, I kind of want to try and breed her with Kuro as well and just see if we can uh, continue to keep some of those extra immunity genes in the family. So we'll have her sit right here in this nest. There's a Dodomingo wandering around still, but I don't think we're going to take any action against it. I mean, we don't have any moves left to do so, so... Oh, and that bunny still is getting uh, getting absolutely just completely smacked by that, that coconut constantly. Let's see. We'll leave you there for now and see if that, uh, that bunny may actually come back. Let's have you sit up here. And if that bunny comes back... We might be able to have you catch it. Um, possibly not, though. What you might want to do is actually slip over here and get ready to catch that bunny that keeps getting uh, bonked in the head by coconuts. You can gather right there. And we'll actually have Rariella come down here. We'll breed them. I'm going to move her back over here so she's safe for now, though, because uh, she is sick. And so if we're not careful, oh, that leech is going to get, um, that leech is going to get Kuro here if we're not careful. So let's have you gather some grass and then you can get the leech off. And we'll go ahead and start a new day again. We do need to be careful not to breed too quickly. <laughs> oh, and both of these bunnies have left us with some extra meat we can gather up. So let's actually bring, uh, well, we'll bring Marame up here. I do not want that Dodomingo taking the nest, so let's, ooh. I mean, I'll bring Kuro up to you and have them breed, although now I have to move her out of the nest, don't I? Oh darn, okay, we'll try again. Yes, so we did successfully breed her, but now let's have her step up here and we'll step into this nest before the Dodomingo can. We do want to breed or make sure she can have her baby before she ends up getting too old though. And then of course these guys can just continue to go after the um, the crabbits there and just see. We might want to have them crack open that ice block soon too since we seem to be doing all right on food. All right, so far so good. Let's move Vanu this way. That Dodomingo is going to try unsuccessfully to get into the nest. Uh, you at least can gather there and you can get that. Kuro, let's have, or let's have um, Vanu step up here and attack this bunny. Didn't quite manage to take it down, but we're getting there. And we'll have you sit right here so that Kuro can step over here and be by the sea and catch any of those coconuts that may fall down. Now Tavon Kier can actually try and uh, kill this bunny, which he didn't quite succeed. But let's actually bring Kosi over here and have her break this ice block. And we have Anamara, who does not have the swimming tail, but who has these Megaloceros horns. She can also go fishing, and that might be something we want to, uh, to set her to do. Because if she can fish, or she can help us with these crabbits, perhaps then that might be well worth our while. I don't know if we actually want to breed her, though, although it might be worth getting that K immunity into the family. We'll have to see. Let's go ahead and we'll start another new day. And we have... Okay, you are not sick, so we'll have to have... Oh, no, we have some pretty bad fertility showing up. Let's have Kosi step over here. Oh, that stupid bunny. Stupid, stupid bunny. <laughs> oh my goodness. These bunnies are just... Who's gotten a leech? I don't know who's gotten a leech, but that's not any good. Okay, let's have... Rariella can... Oh, how many? She's actually not... Unless we breed her again and have her... Okay, did we get... Oh, we have the spike body. 
So we do have, Lari does have the swimming tail, but I think uh, she does have that D immunity. So we could actually have, let's have Marame step up here and then Rariella can actually step over this way and go probably go off on her own. We'll have her try and swim because she is going to pass away on the next turn, unfortunately. You can try and you did catch that crab, so that's good. Let's have these guys step over here and they can help gather. And it was you who got the leech. Poor Kuro. He keeps getting these leeches. So let's actually remove the leech and then try and breed with him so that Anamiko is ready when the time comes. And then we'll bring uh, Anamira over this way, perhaps, to uh, to help keep, uh, keep an eye on everyone over here. Is there anything you can dig up? There's not. Not right now, at least. Let's go ahead and I think we'll start another new day. And... Yeah, she did pass away due to her illness. I was going to say, did I misjudge this? But no, I didn't. Um, she did pass away due to her illness. Let's have, let's wait one more time and see. Yes, Devon here should be able to take out this bunny now. Or not quite. Oh, no. Oh, I was hoping you'd be able to take it down, but apparently not quite. Uh, but at least uh, on America can come and help with this, uh, this crabbit here. Let's have you give it a good whack, and then you can help finish it off. Oh, we should have made a swipe for that bunny, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't think of that. And Lare can step out of the nest, probably. Or we could just leave her there. Oh, we still can get it. Um, let's leave her there for now, actually. Or unless, though, do we want to have... Let's have Anamiko have her baby. Well, we'll go ahead and just kind of push things along here and see if we can have any more swimming tail babies who might have uh, some better odds of uh, possibly being able to get this cracker jaw as well. Because if we have a cracker jaw swimming tail baby, then that will enable us to get that uh, those swimming genes a lot faster. We do have a long way to go, though, before we unlock the gills. Because if we look here, or not the gills, we wanted the water body, I think. If we look at our body types, they're right here. We have to swim 50 times, and we have not done that yet. So it would help us to have the swimming tail in the family, though, because we do have a lot of ground to cover, and that'll enable us to move faster under the water and probably be able to get to those water-breathing plants more easily. So that's going to be pretty important. We'll go ahead, though, for now and start a new day one more time. And so far so good, but it does seem to be getting colder. So that's not something that's something we want to keep an eye on. And we have Kokoko, who does have the secondary swing tail, but unfortunately did not get it first. So let's see if Vanu can maybe swipe up this. Who are you? Wait, what? Okay, that happened over there. Who is this? Care to care. <gasps> Okay, Kira Kira needs to join the family pronto. All right, let's have you hop over here and invite him in. Now we're running a little low on food, so let's have you quickly uh, gather this up. Now, they have two days left, so we can actually remove this. That works perfectly, and they can stay right there. You can dig here, and then is there anywhere else you could go? You could go and try and catch this bunny, although he might start taking... Um, he might start t getting a little bit slow due to the cold. Let's have a... Uh, okay, there's not really anything you could do here. Kuro could step over here closer to Anamiko, who can gather, come over here, and breed. Now, Kira Kira has the swimming tail, and A and H. We might want to breed, not maybe not with Marame, uh, maybe with Lare, D and G, maybe... Anamara doesn't have it, but she can go after that Dodomingo and then start making her way back here. And then Lare. It might be worth sending Lare and Cure to Cure off this way. Um, Anamiko? I don't think she would be better off breeding with Cure to Cure than she would with Kuro. Um, they, he does have a slightly better. He de or he does have a better he does have the better poison fangs as opposed to well actually he has better eyesight than uh, Kuro too though doesn't he? Yes he does. But how is his fertility? So his fertility is worse. So we want to be cautious of that. Perhaps maybe let's bring Lare over here and Cure to Cure as well. 
and we'll see if they can maybe hang out over on this side and possibly end up nesting by this berry bush where they can gather from this berry bush and possibly from uh, possibly some of their their descendants could end up using the poison fangs to help with that too we'll see though because i do want to move this tribe into the water as fast as possible vanu let's make sure you're nice and close to the rest of the tribe so you don't get cold um with that said, I think everybody else is doing pretty well. Let's make sure Marame can kind of come this way. And um, we'll go ahead and start a new day, I think. Is it actually going to snow? Uh, did I hear something? I did not. Okay. Um, it's not going to snow, it looks like. Uh, but you, Laurie, can make sure you're gathering here. You can gather right here. Let's have you step out of the nest. We'll breed on Amiko and uh, Kuro here again and I think Kosi honestly I think because it is her last day we'll have her follow what ended up becoming a custom of our other tribe and actually have her gather up these toxic berries because that'll help the survival of the tribe quite a bit I think let's see if you can find one last root to dig up unfortunately oh yes yes you did I had it on no I did have it on spelling I just didn't see it for some reason apparently um, let's make sure that these guys stay nice and close too, though, so that nobody gets cold. Um, how is everyone else doing? Let's actually bring you maybe down. Oh, I should have gone the other way, shouldn't I? We'll bring him that way, and then Vanu, perhaps, can check around on this side. Hopefully not get cold. And we'll make sure we put uh, Onomera here to make sure nobody gets cold over there, at least. And we'll go ahead and we'll start one more day. And several of our creatures have passed away, unfortunately. Uh, but at least Lara here can continue to gather. And we do have... Oh, Anala has the swimming tail. Okay, wait a minute. So A and D, A and H. So she could not breed with him. That's unfortunate. Uh, but we do have... We have Mimi Mi who has the swimming tail as well. She did get that awful blind eye in there. And Coco, Co, these guys seem to have a habit of naming their babies with the same syllable repeated over and over and over. Uh, let's make sure Anamiko can breed with um, with Kuro again, and we'll bring let's bring you right here to gather, and you can hop over here and possibly attack that Dodomingo if it gets too close. See if we can... Yes, we did get a nice little snack. And Coco Co can try. And yes, she managed to take down that bunny. All right. So let's actually put Lare up on the stump here so she can keep a nice eye out on everything that's going on. And maybe we'll try and breed her in Cure to Cure to try and get that H immunity in. But for now, I think we'll send Marame maybe off... Oh, let, you didn't actually gather. I didn't actually have you gather, apparently. Let's have you... Let's have you and Anala come across here. So you could actually... Well, let's have them both swim. And you can just hop straight across. There we go. So I think that's going to conclude today's episode, though. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.